Hello everyone and welcome back to another Let's Show on Arc. And the reason why I said Let's Show because it's not a Let's Play, it's more like me just showing um, the updates to the base a bit. And I realised that I had forgotten to show you the tech Rex that I recently got. So, let's get around to showing you this um, female tech Rex. I'll call her Alice. And uh, she is a level 126 but she is levelling up slowly but surely. And the thing is, I saw this girl and I thought, oh, I must have her because one, I like the colours. The colours look so cool. Plus, tech rexes are very hard to find these days. So, if she does reach uh, level 200, and I think Grimlock, uh, the one that me and Danny call, is a level 200, I might be able to mate these two with each other and hopefully we'll be able to breed um, a bunch of fighting rexes to fight the um, bald mother. Because I'm going to need them. I guess Chris doesn't agree with my um, actions on that. And my turrets are still shooting the um, other dinos. At least it won't be lost for me. Oh yeah, the other little updates to this. I, did, I added those little um, glass triangle things on there. Just to um, add a little something. Plus I was just playing about, see what I could do and couldn't do. I should have learnt from them that it was going to be a bit awkward to build the other building. But anyway, going back to the tech rich. Yeah, I just recently found this one and darted her. And by luck, I managed to got her. It took a while to get her down, but she was um, a tough so and so to get down. Plus, it didn't help when she had a second Rex helping her out as well. I was trying to get the other Rex, but the other Rex ran off. But this one went down, so I thought, sorry, I've got to actually have to protect this one, feed this one up. And yeah, basically, um, make sure that no other donors have got her. So yeah, I successfully bung her back. And yes, I did use a cryopod to actually carry her in. I had one of my dragons on standby to um, help out and whatnot. So yeah, I should have really recorded myself getting it really, being honest, but hey-ho. Now, updates, 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 yes, 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 that's what it was. Uh, you remember those buildings that I was... So what have we shot today anyway? Oh, typical. Um, right, you've already seen the castle already, so you don't need another exploration. So, do you remember the buildings that we were building up last time? Um, yeah. Well, basically, there they are now. They ain't got doors or windows yet. Well, this one's got made out of glass anyway, so, but it still ain't got its doors still. But what I've done is I added this on top, this little thing. It's just only for um, decoration, aesthetics, whatever you like to call it. And yes, I painted it green, blue, and red, just to give it a little bit of um, colour. And this one, I've done the roof with a, like, a lilac, l lavender colour? Actually, no, lilac is a different colour than that. I think that's more of a lavender colour, because it's like that pinky colour. Um, and on the inside, we've got sort of like a purpley like colour with the red um, rimmed um, glass, like you know, like with the bars painted red and it. Too bad I couldn't stain the glass um, a different colour, but hey ho. Then you've got the yellow in the middle to make sort of like a flower or sun like um, sort of thing. So yeah, plus I actually like the look of this. I didn't expect it to turn out this good. This one turned out a lot more better than what I thought. This one. Even though it's not exactly what I wanted, but hey, it was pretty quirky and pretty cool. But anyway, yeah, nothing much changed here. The cupboard's still there. <laughs> and yes, as I said, I was going to do the three colours of the trifles, and so there you go. Yes, I painted the middle gold, but I uh, got um, blue, red, and green, naturally. So yeah, but also it matches the obelisk in this area as well, because you've got green, red, and blue. I should have really put green on that side, and red pointing that way, and blue pointing that way, I guess. But then again, no. Oh, what the hell? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. DLs, DLs, eh? But hey, it looks so cool anyway. I'm actually happy with that. Also, while I'm here, I've also updated the um, factory a little bit. I nearly went into the back of the house. And yes, we've got some water pipes here. I will talk about how to um, make these in another video. Now, this is the metal light pipes that I've been using, obviously to go down into the thing and yes it looks like a mess but I can assure you um, these pipes laying down like that they're just there for decoration that one's there because otherwise it would just look like it's floating and I was thinking in my head it doesn't really make sense with it floating in the air like that I just couldn't have it like that so I just thought add these just for you know again decoration and such and I thought you know what I might as well add a few couple of um, water, um, drums on top of it just to give it a sort of like, you know, a little something, little decoration and such. 
because I was surprised my OCD was going a bit nutty about it as well. It was like, oh, it's blowing, I can't stand it, I need to actually sort it out, and it's like, Bleh. and I'm still not satisfied with it because it, you know, it's not 100% perfect. I'll show you the factory in a minute, I've just got to show you something else as well. I probably should take the Raptors out for a walk at some point. They could do that. Plus, with the amount of dinosaurs around, you can see them in action. And this is the stone like pipes. Over here, and basically I was just messing about with these, see what I could do in that. And as you can see, they float because, you know, that's how it is. I really should actually put something underneath it. And my mind starts thinking, mm, it's got to be fixed, it's got to be fixed. But I'm just ignoring it at the moment. But I do like the look of these wells and that. They look pretty cool, pretty awesome. In fact, I actually find these a lot more appealing compared to the metal ones, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. But yeah, always, yeah something appealing about the stone just has um, a lot more decoration and a lot more... Especially when you see the moss in it and such like that. But anyway, and my turrets are out again. Anyway, um, got the stone water tap. So this was really. J oh, excuse me. It was just me experimenting and such like that. So, yeah. That's the water. But anyway, I'll show you how to um, um, make those. Well, mostly the metal ones and in another video. Because to make the metal ones, it's the same way how you make the stone ones anyway. Or should I say, to make the stone ones it's the same way how you make the metal ones, just different materials. There we go. <laughs> right, the factory. It now looks like a, more of a factory now because we've got three of these. Yes, I know some of you say, oh, one of them would do because, you know, one of them does a shed load. And these things are pretty good, especially if you want to do a lot. Um, two industrial ovens and two grinders. In my opinion, I think the grinders are not so useful, but that's my opinion because I probably haven't had a use for them or something like that. I mean, some of you guys and girls may have had uses for them and may, you know, find them quite very useful, but in me, it's sort of like, mm, I don't know. But maybe it's because I haven't actually, you know, properly used them properly or something like that. But anyway, most of these are mostly here for, um, like, decoration and such like that. It's like these little, um, you know, little lab things and that. They're just there for decoration and these um, industrial cookers they're all connected up in that uh, and i will show you how to connect them up as i show you about the piping um not in this video in the next video but um yeah you've got um i've got about three of them here and they all require um, oil and um they actually look pretty um, cool when they turn on and they're basically just like your cooking pots really just on a larger scale so let's um, have a look on the inside of this because as you can see it requires one of these to actually um light out and when it's lit up it looks pretty cool. I mean, look at the flames on that thing. Again, I will show you how to set one of these up, but again, I'll keep that in another video. Obviously, you see how one of these goes off naturally. Um, obviously, it requires one of them. These require also, um, you know, your your um, your jerry cans and that. Same goes here and such. Like that. Actually, can you say jerry can anymore? Don't know. But anyway, and look how quick. And look how quick you get that from stone. It's so quick. So if you ever want flint, put a lot of stone in. There you go, you get a lot of flint. Now, I've got each one of these for different things. Like this one's going to be for like the metal. And it would do like a big payload of metal. Oh, and it would do quite a lot more than your standard forge. And yes, I've got my props ready for the next video. So don't worry, you just saw that there. These are all ready for the next one. <laughs> one that does the um, charcoal and whatnot. And this one is my... Uh, gasoline we, and we find out I'll put all the oils and skin in there and it does it pretty darn quick because right let me just show you the flames looks pretty hot there doesn't it pretty cool I actually do like the effects here Nat. I know some of you have already actually um, done this before and that would go oh yeah I've done it it's nothing got new I ain't seen that but there's some people oh who go oh it's the first time I've seen that that's actually pretty cool and these I definitely say are cool because they do actually make things pretty fast because Give it a little while, you see that 101 of these will turn into 100 um, gasoline. There you go. And then you get it again and again and again. It's a lot more quicker compared to your normal forge. So this I find pretty useful. This is quite handy if you've got the resources to make in that. Although if you haven't and you just run low resources, just rely on the forge and stuff like that. Where me, because I'm playing it by myself, I can just afford to do stuff like this. Because, you know, when you're playing by yourself, you just do anything by yourself really where if you was on like an internet thing it'd be a different story but anyway i'll keep that on uh but yeah 
um, up here hasn't changed much. Oh yeah, ours have got three um, refrigerators to store like, you know, like your cooked meats and your raw meats. Like you've got your cooked meat here. That's a lot. You've got your other prime meat, cooked meat there. You've got your raw meat there. This is mostly for actually feeding the dinos more than anything else. Because um, I noticed that I've been getting some meat thanks to the tourists. And I've been harvesting those. Now, up here hasn't changed much. I probably should put more cupboards in and such. Just to give it, you know, the whole warehouse look and such for it up here and so forth. Um, I'm pretty sure I should probably do something with this and such. But I'm not sure. I'm going to have to think about it. And even maybe this area. But, eh, we see. Up here hasn't changed much. Still the same old, same old, you know. You know, would you believe, actually, I can actually jump from there to this. Actually, I'll show you that, actually. But yeah, up here hasn't changed. Just bear me one moment. You watch me mess this up and I'll fall off. First and first. Right, let's have a look at you. Are you done? Wow. My yucking has actually allowed this to produce about 400 jury cans. Gasoline. My bad. But uh, yeah, let's turn this off so we don't waste any more thing. Keep those in there anyway. Right, now let's go and do the uh, roof jump thing, see if I can actually do it. But I'm pretty sure I can. But yeah, not much has changed, it's only just a few uh, little things and that. But it's the little things in life that makes the things work and such. And yes, I have made sure that all my pets are fed, like I said in the other video and all that. Just got to make sure that they're all topped up and so forth. Especially my Rexes and Dragons, because they eat a lot. And I do mean a lot. But mind you, and what the hell? Huh? What? What the? What? What? Where'd that come from? Are you guys spawning eggs or what? Fuck that that come from? Okay, that was better seeing the egg in here. <laughs> so which one of you laid it? Which one of you went down there and laid it, eh? How the hell did you fit down here? Anyway, don't mind that. I still love these doors. Oh, wait, she's trying to rig. Don't worry, these are not fertile, so... I'll keep them from making kibble and such like that. Right. Now, for the uh, moment of truth, can I actually do this? I know I've done it before. Should be simple. Huh! Yeah, made it! Can I get over the thing? Get me over the thing! Are you... Hmm... Okay, I messed that one up. Well, how do you get down? How do you get down, one wonders? Geronimo. And that's the little tour. Now, if you excuse me. I broke my legs. So, see you in the next video, people.